Hello YouTube, long time no see. We are back on the sunny Isle of Man, driving around in a convertible, and the island has just been nominated in a prestigious travel award as most desirable island in Europe. Now, I don't actually think that's a good thing. Ah, Luca! Bueno! Pinu! Bueno! Pinu! Let's drive down to the sound on a lovely sunny day and let me try and explain. So here we are down at the Sound. It's a lovely sunny day. We just had some food and before the food coma kicks in from the fish and chips and donuts, which are pretty nice down here. I thought I'd do a quick video on a new story that's been making the rounds on the island the last couple of days. And that is that the Isle of Man has been nominated in the Wanderlust 2024 Travel Awards in the category of Most Desirable Island in Europe. Now, Wanderlust, I think, is a, I don't know, it's a travel organization, website, something like that. Apparently, it's like 100,000 members and every year there's awards and they nominate most desirable places to travel to, something like that. I'll link to the, the thingy in the description. Naturally, the government has, of course, you know, put a big press release and say, like, oh, look, we've been nominated to be in this awards category, awesome, go Isle of Man. I looked at the website. Now, firstly, it's, it's of course, something positive. And I know that the government's going to get knocked for it because I looked at the website and it looks like you can pretty much nominate yourself or it's not clear at least how these islands or places are nominated and there are loads to choose from and you can even enter your own. You don't have to vote for the ones that they suggest to you. So, you know, to say we've been nominated, yeah, it's truthful, I suppose, but it's a bit of PR spin and marketing. And of course, the, the government straight away sent out big press releases, look at us, we're so great now in a way you could argue that's their job so i'm not knocking them for that pr and marketing that's what it is it's self-promotion if we are nominated even if they nominated us themselves which i probably think they did it's fair game it's marketing right that's how it works that's how you get visitors so well done there we're nominated if we're going to win i don't know we'll find out there's going to be an awards ceremony i'm sure some people from here the high and mighty will attend and, you know, have a good night out there promoting the island, of course. Generally, you could think that's a good thing, that the Isle of Man was nominated, it's good for tourism and so on. But I think it's actually not so good. And let me explain to you why. The Isle of Man has become increasingly popular again with tourists. Now, you could again think, hey, that's positive. That brings in money, right? Tourists come here, spend money. We have lots of cruise ships uh, docking here now, which is a completely separate topic. I might do a video on that because... On the one hand, we want to be this net zero climate change island. And on the other hand, we're actively attracting cruise ships. Doesn't really work, but let's leave that separate. What I think the problem with this award and attracting more tourists here is that we are getting more tourists. And as a result, the holiday let market over here is exploding. The, you know, Airbnb and Island Escapes is a big company they here. They have about a hundred tourist accommodations that they manage that are owned by private individuals and they manage it on their website. It's exploding in recent times. The island is very, very popular. Loads of tourists come here. Loads of people rent out their houses or buy places specifically to rent them out only to tourists, only short term, which of course is insanely uh, profitable. You know, if you, you can easily make, you know, I have friends who I know make high five figure amounts a year with just one of their properties. And that's more than you could get renting it out long term to a long term renter to a normal person. And that's the problem. So the, the Isle of Man is getting popular with tourists. Holiday lets are exploding as a result, the Airbnb type style things, because we still don't have more hotels. You can't just magically grow a hotel, but you can, of course, rent out private accommodation. As a result, the already squeezed long-term normal rental market is, well, it's pretty much non-existent now. And I'll give you an example. I did a house viewing last week for a couple who contacted me for YouTube. You know who you are. And it was a beautiful little cottage and they actually did an open house, which is very unusual. Never really seen that uh, here, but okay, I went along. We did a little video chat. We got the property in the end, but there were over 50 people turned up for that. And that's not the only one. I've, I know of other properties where 50, 60, 70 people are fighting over one property because you cannot get rental properties over here. It is almost impossible to find any. So if you are planning to move to the Isle of Man, good luck finding rental properties because it is almost impossible. It's extra impossible if you have kids or pets. Just basically forget about it. And that's a problem. You know, we are already short of rental properties and now the tourism thing 
and things like this award is going to highlight us even more, bring more tourists here. More people will offer short-term lets and not rent it out to long-term renters. So the long-term normal rental market is going to diminish even further. So yes, on the one hand, it's great that we are getting you know, more tourists and more publicity and whatnot. But on the other hand, it puts an even bigger squeeze onto an already squeezed long-term rental market. And that's bad because, you know, the many of you who contact me who are thinking of moving to the Isle of Man, well, I can only tell you what I tell everyone, you know, it is hard to find rental accommodation here. I hear it every day from people and this isn't helping. Maybe it is time the government looks at how it manages uh, holiday lets, Airbnbs and that kind of thing. Of course, many cities in Europe and places elsewhere around the world have had similar issues that people are cashing in with short-term lets, you know, let's call it the Airbnb model, and do not accept long-term renters anymore. The result is a very squeezed rental market, prices go up, no availability, and normal people suffer. Maybe it's time the Isle of Man looks at, you know, if that's really an issue here. It seems to be. It seems to be a growing issue here. And maybe it's time for regulations that, you know, you're either not allowed to do Airbnb or there's restrictions or you can only do it for certain months or you have to pay higher taxes, something like that. But that's all I wanted to say. You know, it's nice that we're nominated for this wonderful tourism award and whatnot. And, you know, I'm sure they're going to have a wonderful night in London, I think it is, where the award ceremony is, even if we don't win. It's not so nice because it puts an even bigger squeeze on a long-term rental market. So if you're thinking of moving to the Isle of Man, you're probably better off buying here. Still plenty, plenty of properties available to buy not so many to rent and being more popular with tourists certainly doesn't help with that that's all for me for now i'm now getting a sunburn so is my bed <laughs> so we're gonna bugger off and i'll see you next time